go, but what is now required by the average driver to do to have? Okay, that would be your, your secondary uh, locking mechanism. This lever would be your primary that actually locks onto the to the ball of the hitch from underneath. Mm -hmm. The secondary would be either a pin like this one that just goes through there and latches, or you could actually have you could actually have a lock on it, or you could buy specifically a trailer lock, which would be the same thing that goes goes through here and just goes on like that. Uh, your safety chain, mm -hmm. uh, you're required to have at least one. This one, this one has two. Mm -hmm. uh, and what they will do is they just they just hook under here, and you can hook them straight. I like to crisscross mine like that. Um, and you're only required to have at least one of these, but most of your trailers typically would be manufactured with two. When the wheel bearings aren't greased, you know, ever so often. Uh, the bearings in there, they'll, they'll rust and wear, and depending on whether or not you're using it in salt water, they'll, they'll wear out real quickly. And uh, they'll actually start to disintegrate, and, and sometimes the wheels will, will bow in or out. And on this particular trailer, because it's a wire mesh trailer, they require two reflectors or 100 square inches of red and white tape to outline the rear of it. You know, if you just take that extra minute and make sure that all your lights are working, you have you know sufficient tread on your tires, you've hooked it up properly, you know you, sh you should be able to drive it and pull it anywhere you want with no problem.